Hey guys, I'm Kirko. Welcome back to Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden. Uh, this is the game we're trying out right now and the first mission we... Uh, well, we got to know our two heroes, Dux and Borman, right now. Um, I'm guessing we're gonna get more people to join us, but right now we're in Eden, which I guess is the main hub of the story. And before we go on the next mission, we're gonna go check out some of those places so we can possibly upgrade our stuff, etc, etc. For the right price, I fix and upgrade your shitty gear. You're, you hey, have West shitty things. gear. Okay. So, we have... Eight weapon parts available. So, what... This is Borman's and this is Duck's, right? Let's check your scatter gun. So, you have this thing. Two additional critical damage, 30% chance to knock back enemies. Alright. Yeah, this is for uh, close stuff, I guess. No, the scatter gun is close stuff. Yeah, the scatter gun. Mm hmm. Let's have you have this. Okay. Uh, back. Okay, you can have that thing. And for this one, we have no modules available. We can upgrade it. And you need 20 of. I guess this is bullets or something? Kills, maybe? I don't know. 20 of something. Yeah, it's not it's not scrap. It's not scrap. Let's see if you have something for our pistols. This one are level two actually. Interesting. That's fine. Keep your uh, head screwed on. I will keep my head screwed on. Let's go check out Perp's place. Maybe we can recruit a person here or something. After Who knows? A day in the zone, you know you can always come to Prips for some high quality grog. You wanna get loaded? Order a shot. No butane, no bleach, only natural ingredients. I also dabble in a little, uh, antiquity trading. So if you find any cool artifacts out in the wasteland, bring them to me and I might give you something in return. Comprende? Dude, this bar looks awesome. Did you see the gun does there? <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, so we have artifact points available. Extend crew bleed out time at two turns. Unlocks an extra grenade slot per crew member. Grants 20% discount at Iridia shop. Yeah, uh, we are going for the mule, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Love it. Ability unlocked. Okay. Cheers. I guess that's what we can do over here. There's Iridia shop. Let's go check this one. You know the drill. Stalkers want gear that keeps them alive. I, Iridia, provide the gear. See anything you like, just let me know. There is one rule. Don't ever, ever pull my chain. If you pull my chain, I'll feed your ding-dongs to a zone wolf. Got that? Beautiful. Happy shopping. I've no idea what kind of a chain you're talking about, lady. Uh, you do have a dude in the background on a bicycle. I don't know, maybe he's providing power to you or something. I don't know. Okay, what do we have over here? Uh, we have scraps available and you're selling stuff. I would like maybe some hand Oh, look at this bad boy. Pipe gun. Ancient sight. 20% added to weapon range, that's pretty cool. Uh, I would like to have a med kit. I would also like to have a hand grenade. Uh, I think we're gonna start with a hand grenade rather than a Molotov. Stay that. Yeah, that's the only thing we could buy, really. So. Safe travels. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> Maybe that discount wouldn't be too bad. And now there's the elder. He sent us on the mission. My home will always be a haven to you, brave stalkers. After your journeys, pay me a visit, and I'll offer you some guidance, perhaps a story. To help you become wise and strong, dude. <laughs> You're just Thank weird you for letting this old man ramble. Go in peace, stalkers. Go in pieces, stalkers. All right, I think we're ready to go out there. Uh, do I go inventory? There you go. You have a smoky. And I think I'm gonna give you the handy. 
Yeah, actually we have an extra handy. I guess that's the thing we looted. Oh, never mind. Uh, it does look like we can level them up. We do have two more points available. We need five for this. Let's give you more HP for now. Yeah, let's see what we can do with uh, my boy ducks. Increase your stamina, probably give you new additional plus two movement range. That's pretty good. I guess we can wait for a knee shot as well. This is a minor mutation. Oh, we can only have one minor mutation, right? One of these and then uh, moth wings. That's kind of cool. Hog rush. Let's give you the movement bust booster. And then uh, we can go. We can save up over there. That's fine. This is our squad. This is the zone map. So we need to go over here to Hammond's cabin. Yeah. Do we need to go to the outskirts again? Or we can go directly to Hammond's cabin, I guess. So the places that we already looted, we can go directly. That thing down there is level 25. Damn, we're like, what, level 3? I think. <laughs> Alright, are we ready for this, Borman? Okay, zone travel. You can fast travel to Ark, uh, to the Ark or any previously visited location from the zone map. That's cool. It's good, good, good. Hey man, come here. Thanks for signing me up back there, you crazy pig. Yes, Mr. Elder. Sign us up for a suicide mission, Mr. Elder. Did you forget there's like a kajillion ghouls out here who want to kill us? Nobody gets to kill you but me now. Shut the duck up and keep moving. Oh. I'm telling you, Borman. I like no Borman. ending in this story. Stalkers don't get happy endings. We get each other. So watch oh. my back. It was a love story. Good news is we reached Heaven's cabin. Bad news is there's two friggin' ghouls casing the joint. It's a hunter level 5. He has 8 HP. And the other one... There's more. There's more than two. So let's see if we can do some of that stealthy stuff. We chase everything, but there are no Look secrets. Here. Where are the secrets? The ones in the north will catch Hammond and squeeze the secrets from his head. How do you know his name? The junk is for the junk is for us. All of it. Hmm. Okay, that guy is moving. He's not moving far though. It's 4 HP. If we could ambush him, we could kill him. That's a shaman. How about we actually see if we can pick off... Well, let's go for the shaman now. Let's do the ambush from here, I think. Yeah. So... You can go over here. He's not gonna see you. Apparently. Make it there, Borman. Okay. You only have 50 for... No, what did I do? Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. That is definitely not what I wanted to do. Uh, I'm used to XCOM, you know? Uh, mm, not good. Not good. Okay, Borman. And when you press enter, right? It would... Uh, it would get you into this mode. So why do you have your Molotov? Do I oh, X to switch? There you go. This will deal plenty of damage. This is not what I wanted to do, but oh well. Oh well. Let's uh, let's take this shot. See what happens. I missed. Good ambush. Oh, well, he, he doesn't he doesn't care really that much. <laughs> Damage for 10? <laughs> that was awesome. That was a crit. That was a huge crit. So this guy heard me. I don't know how do you actually do an ambush if they actually hear you everywhere. Get the fat one! No sweat on it! What do you wanna go for the fat one if I may ask? Okay, what are you right? You are annoying because you have to reload after every shot. 50 out of range. Hmm. You can, uh, oh, you can just throw a med kit? That's kind of cool, actually. Let's hide. So, Borman. This is 100. This is 75 only. Hmm. 15 crit. 15 crit. The crits are kind of low. I don't really like that. 
I know this is a hundred, but you're out of cover then. I only fifteen to crit. With this one, you can actually uh, deal enough damage with a pistol. Hmm. Okay, let's uh, run and gun you over here. I know it's not 100, but I guess uh, that's the best we can get. Let's take your pistol shot over here. Nice one. Sweet takedown. Okay. Uh, let's get him healed. With you, I think. Oh, there this is go. how you do it, huh? You okay, it looked like you can just throw it there. Okay, this guy is going ham on us. Borman. What can you do for me, buddy? You didn't even have a shot from there. Um, you will have a grenade shot, though. Go here, Borman. Throw a goddamn grenade. Yeah, let's see if it destroys some cover as well. Hi! Oh, I like this. Okay, ducks. You do have a shot. No, you don't. He's out of range. Well, you are fully reloaded, so there's that. Only 75, huh? Well, I'll take it, though. I will take it, and uh, let's take it. Nice. He's dead. Good job. Not too, shabby. Not too shabby at all. Okay, now we also got a level up. I wonder if you like uh, Get over here. can actually heal uh, if you level up. I need to check that. First things first. Let's uh, actually. Oh, there's a med kit. Far looker. Artifact. This is far looker. Let's bring it far back looker. to prep before yeah. the ghouls take it. That Ooh. name is all wrong. It should be a smaller fire. Because when I looked into it, everything became smaller and more distant. Just like your penis. Zone ghouls stripped this cabin clean. Almost everything useful was gone. But it's a good thing ghouls can't read. They ignored the diary hidden inside Hammond's desk. Me and Ducks aren't big readers either. But we look for answers in the diary. And all we get is more questions. Hammond writes how he found the crash machine near his cabin. He's convinced the machine was sent as a message from a mythical place beyond the zone called Eden. Where everybody's happy and safe. When Hammond sees another machine fall north of here, he takes his stalker crew up there to find it. I close the diary. Here's the problem. Eden's a fairy tale. Some bedtime story mutants believe in, so they can get to sleep at night. So either Hammond is onto something, or his brain's got the rot, and he's about to kill a bunch of good stalkers. Guess we gotta find out. Me and Ducks have to go north. Farther from home than we've ever been. It's dangerous. Ducks thinks I'm crazy to press on. I don't disagree with him. Dude, Bormin is badass. I like him. He is kind of a badass. I don't care about some stupid Eden. Oh, I'm sure you don't. There. Let's go and uh Oh, you Oh, you didn't level up, did you? The Bormin did. Where does it even say your levels? Who knows? Anyway. Um No. No no no. Let's wait and we can go for one of these maybe. Okay. Uh, can I heal you? I guess. I guess not. Is there something else we can uh, pick up over here? Some more scrap. It's kind of cool. There's something else out here. Pick up node. As the seasons pass, I'm forced further out into the zone to find even most basic of objects. From time to time, I stumble across the all hidden place, even locations I imagine were already cleaned up by stalker seasons ago. One such place is to be found due west of the fallen machine. There appears to be remains of an ancient camp, completely transportation hut. Location is currently home to a pack of zone dogs, for some reason, tolerate my presence near to their breeding grounds. They pick off wandering ghosts and I leave them alone. This unusual symbols, symbiosis worked for me quite well. Alrighty then. Let us make our way uh, wherever we want to go. That way. We must get the crash site. Alrighty then. We'll do so. 
Oh, this is the uh, this is the crash site, huh? More scrap. I think there's something over there. I had the chance to investigate. There you go. Whoa, whoa! Check this thing out. It must have crashed. Look at this symbol on the side. It's like a star. It's like a star, huh? Almost like if it came out of the outer space or something. Who knows? Uh, okay, that way is where we're going. But Borman, catch up, man. I think there's a ghoul over there. That's a zone dog. Apparently these guys tolerate our presence, so we're gonna let them be. Yeah. Apparently they are nice. Red Skull enemies are simply too difficult and require more practice in the zone to defeat. Well, makes sense, man. Makes sense. Okay, we in, boys. Oh, man. We've never been this far from the Ark before. It's like... Talk about undiscovered country, huh? You're almost you here. finally left the ghouls behind? Yeah. Me neither. Uh, which way do we have to go? I think this way. Investigate the crash side. That's the yellow mark. So, that's where we go. Let's uh, hope we don't kill uh, my duck friend. Ducks. My brain must be rotting. Is that a beautiful woman I see before me? Excuse me? Wait, I know that beautiful woman. She's a stalker. There's a beautiful woman. Hey, beautiful woman. Hey, how's it going? Stay right there. Who are you? You're a Selma, right? You're a mutant oh, like so us. Hi, okay. I'm Hammond's team. Do I owe you money? No. Did I kill your brother? No. And Selma I am. Who are you? I'm Ducks, and he's Borman. Hello? Like the only walking duck and boar in the whole lock? Come on. That's funny. I think you've mistaken me for someone who gives a duck. I've got to catch up to Hammond before it's too late. You're part of Hammond's crew. How did you get separated? It was weird. We were all hearing strange voices. Not from the zone. In our heads. And that's when the ghouls ambushed us. After the fight, I was somehow blinded, paralyzed. I could barely move. I told Hammond I'd catch up to him when it wore off. Two long, rough days. But I'm better now. He headed up north to a crash site to find some metal ship. Says it was sent from... Eden, I know. Do you believe him? If Hammond thinks there's an Eden, there's an Eden. Believe me. You guys are trying to find him too? And we can work together. This is insane. You want to go more north? Into Ghoul Central? They'll more north, huh? A lot of ghouls have tried to kill me, but I'm still here. So, am I part of your team or what? You're just trying to be badass, uh, Selma. <clears throat> just trying to be badass. I, I'm not convinced by you. Especially the fact how uh, you told the guy, Hey, I'm blind. How about you leave me here alone where there's like ghouls wandering around. Hey, this is... <laughs> it's kind of weak. It's kind of weak. She has seven points available, which I kind of appreciate. Joker, draw enemy attention to you for one turn. Nah. Reach higher places by simply moving or sprinting combat. Huh. You're not able to move or spin to high places freely and without the use of a leather. So this is kind of a wall climbing, huh? I'll take it. I'll take it. So you gotta get mutated as well. Tree hugger. <laughs> Area effect disables enemy movement for one turn. Oh, records say that some ancients would talk to their pet plants, the plants that would react to the sound of their master's voice. Somehow you are now able to do this Except uh, to do the same, except with trees which can be co now commanded to bind enemies with their twisted roots. Let's go. Boom. Let's get you mutated, my lady. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't see no duck faces on you or anything. What's in your inventory, lady? Uh, we can give you a Molotov that we found. Sure. What do you guys have? You still have these things? Oh, she actually has a silencer, huh? It's kind of cool. All right, uh, let's make a move. Take a move on. Make a move on. I don't. I don't know. Uh, where do we even have to go? That way. Let's let's go there, boys, and a girl, or mutants and a girl. I don't even know what to call you anymore. Hmm. This seems like a dead end. We need to go that way. This is not. This does not appear to be that way. 
without a hand grenade. Let's actually give that to her. Everyone else has a hand grenade, right? No. Wait, she has two Molotovs? That's amazing. There you go. I guess they start with a Molotov. Note. Evacuation guidelines. Only bring essential items. Non-essential items will not be loaded onto ferries. Warm waterproof clothing, ready to eat, tin or dried food, basic tools, machine first aid supplies. What was that noise there? No pets, no personal items that will not fit in a shoebox. Start. Gutenberg, Gutenberg Center. So we're in Sweden, apparently. Alrighty then. Can we go up here, boys? Yeah, let's go. We are very fast. Kinda cool. You guys come with me, right? I mean, she should be able to just walk up. Is she, is she gonna fall? I don't think we want Rodhead over there to call his buddies. Let's stay hidden. Okay, apparently there's a Rodhead apparently over here. Apparently, don't know where he is. I don't see him quite hey, yet. You the there. Ugly face. You see anything out there? No, oh, he's up there. Out there. It's the zone. And stop calling me ugly face. Look at your face. <laughs> I can't look at my face. It's my face. Now put your eyes out there and look for intruders. Oh, let's move, boys. There's that shaman coming. Mm, I mean, our duck friend over here is kind of injured, so we gotta be careful. We don't want him alerting uh, anyone to our presence. Yes. Ooh, that butcher is coming closer. Yo, move. I don't exactly know how this works, but how about we uh, wait for them over here? Oh, I thought he was in cover. He wasn't. That's fine. This is the only guy you see. Maybe. Uh, let's see. Selma. Let's go over here meet you now I think she has a silencer right I mean it does look like it so she should be able to just shoot this boy silently nice and nobody should hear us I hope hearing from you anymore no good job level up also let's go he still hasn't leveled up has he oh he has two points available what you talking about uh, he needs seven though for moth wings he has three, he needs five over here, and she has one, and we're gonna give her a health booster. Let's get that going. Awesome. Uh, yeah, you stay there. Let's see if you can... Uh, 50, huh? To get this hunter going. Hmm, that's not exactly the greatest. I wonder if you can uh, throw a grenade up here. No, you, apparently you can't. Throwing grenades up there is kind of tough. can make him a three tree hugger hmm only a 50 uh, I don't quite like that I don't quite like that so you do have a shot over here like a probably a 20 there's a 50 over there you could run and gun over there I mean we don't need to start the shooting process right away you can bring ducks closer as well Selma, she could go there. Still a 50. Taking those 50s is not exactly amazing, you know? I wonder if he has a shot from here. He doesn't, does he? He should have a shot from here. It doesn't show, though. He has it from there. That's 25. That one would be 50. That one would be 75. 25 from there. Why is this one 75? Because I guess you're close enough? Yeah. But I would still prefer you in uh, cover, you know? Can you throw your grenade up here now? It's a good question. Oh, yeah. I just need to go up. That's right. Uh, let's actually try this. I mean, this is not going to be silent, you know? Not in the slightest. Actually, um... Let's get Borman. Let's get Borman over here, and he can throw the grenade maybe a next turn. I don't think we have to uh, 
do anything on this turn at all. Now, do you have a med kit? Yeah. How about you heal yourself? There you go. Uh, you just uh, overwatch for now. Okay. They didn't see us coming, which I like. How about we uh, get a loud boom going, huh? Let's do this. Hello, Mr. Hunter. We're ready for you. Oh. Whoops. Didn't want to do that. Now this should be... Oh, still 50? Oh, let's take the shot. That was a miss. And you have 25. Above and range. Mm-hmm. Is this gun better? No. Hmm. Let's see if... Uh, this will leave you flank, though. So if you don't hit this, this is gonna be bad. Let's take it. Nice. The one is down. One of ours is down. That was a good kill. Okay. Uh, they gonna. <laughs> oh, what is he doing? Holy shit! I don't think this was a good idea. Injury detected. Don't step into the light. Medbot. <laughs> this was a terrible idea, I think. We should have just gone past this. Yeah, they're gonna be able to get him. Like, he was out there. Whoo! Damn. Uh, you can move over here. You can't shoot that guy? Why can't we shoot this guy? I don't know. Um, yeah. I think we're gonna continue onwards from here in the next episode. This is a nice cliffhanger. Are we gonna all get butchered by these butchers or are we gonna, I don't know, survive possibly? Maybe. We'll see. Anyway, for now, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider dropping a comment down below. Share, like, subscribe, and I'll see more Doom Magic. And I'll see you next time. Coco out.